Hi and welcome back to our MS project tutorial. In the last lessons, we discussed how to create a new project, a project calendar, task list and how to share and format your work plan with and, and share it with the other project stakeholders. Now in this video, I want us to discuss how to set up project resources and then assign those resources to the tasks that we created in uh, the other videos that I already uploaded on my channel. Now before we proceed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you will be notified when I post new content. Uh, <laughs> I want us to go to this part here under view and change the view from Gantt chart. Change the view from Gantt chart to resource sheet. Now, resources are what is required or what is consumed for the project to be implemented like if you are looking at a construction project you will require resources such as workers which are may maybe masons or laborers such as site supervisors you require materials such as cement sand ballast roofing nails and the rest and for us here, I already have a predefined task list that I want, uh, um, not a task list, but a predefined uh, resource list that I want us to put in our MS project. And I will start by typing them so you can follow along. Now the first resource is a marketing List. So type and then click on enter. Now you notice that when you you type the resource name and 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 and, and click on enter, these other columns fill themselves automatically. Now I want us to concentrate on this column about type. Now if you click on this drop down list, you find that you have work, material and cost, which are the three types of resources that we have for our project. Now work resources are people and equipment needed to complete tasks. Now examples of work resources include in our case here a resource name that we have used such as marketing specialist, maybe we have a programmer or an engineer for the project and the other type of a resource is what is called a cost resource. And cost resources are financial costs that are associated with the task. We also have material resources which are consumables used up as the project proceeds. An example is what we gave before of cement and sand in construction. So for us, a marketing specialist or all of our resources that we are going to put here will be grouped under work resources. And <coughs> if you look at these three columns, they are talking about standard pay, overtime pays, and cost per use. Now, the standard pay is the pay per hour or maybe per given period of time that the resource is going to be allocated 
during the normal working days and working hours. Overtime is when they work over when they work for overtime and cost per use is cost per the number of uses the resource is going to be put to. So here for the first resource the marketing specialist is getting eight thousand US dollar per e per year. And we have four marketing specialists so the maximum number here will be which is given in, in a in percentages will be 100 percent times 4 which is 400 percent. I'll do the same to the other resources that I have which is a design engineer, it's a work resource has a maximum allocation of, uh, of 400 and a standard rate of 125,000 US dollar per year. The next is development engineer with an allocation of 400% and a standard rate of 110 thousand US dollar per year I have industrial engineer and this is 400 this is 100,000 per year and I have purchasing agent at 200 and uh, 75,000 per year and the last is test rider I have 4 at 70 US dollar per hour. Now we are through with creating the resources and specifying the type of resource and the standard pay rates which is a rate of pay for regular and overtime work performed by a resource. Now after doing that want us to go back to to this task tab and down here activate the Gantt chart view and we go back to our Gantt chart and I'll give you I'll, I'll show you two examples how to allocate uh, the resources that we have created our tasks. Now make reference to these resource assignments that I have here and the first task is uh, allocated to a marketing specialist. So I will come here to market analysis and double click on that task and then when this pops up I will go here to resource and you notice there is a button here and a resource name that if you click on it you will get a drop down of uh, the resources that we created in the resource sheet view so here I will select marketing specialist and assign 400 units and click and I click OK. Now you notice that at this point it tells you marketing specialist 400%. That means you have allocated 
four marketing specialists to undertake the task of market analysis. Now the next task is assigned to one marketing anal analyst which is in the task is product design so double click then go to resources click here it's a marketing specialist so here the unit is one again we come back here there are four design engineers so go back and select design engineer and 400 development engineer at 200 go back here development engineer is here and this is 200 industrial engineer and purchasing engineer at 100 so I'll come here I will do industrial engineer at 100 and the rest the, the last one is a purchasing agent at 100 then I'll click OK and then the resources will populate them both in the Gantt chart and in this table as you can see from uh, from this point let me show you look at uh, this column that contains the resources the resource names now that is how to set up and assign resources to tasks and uh, I hope for you you will uh, continue from task number three assign all the resources to your tasks and be able to complete the assignment I will see you in the next lesson and thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe thank you